I'm Larry Stevens. I'm going to be the team leader tonight for the auto extrication. All my members are here, ready, all geared up, and we'll uh, get our task on right here. A little bit, a little bit more. As a volunteer group, sometimes we've got lots of people for a call, sometimes we don't, depending on people's work schedules. So sometimes you might only have one or two experienced people, and you'll have one or two junior people. Breaking glass. Hey. We always say every accident is always different. There's never two accidents that are the same. So there's lots to learn all the time. Ready? Ready? We like to get them hands on in the training aspect. Of it. So when we actually go out on a real call, they kind of have a basic idea of what's going on or what needs to be done. We put a lot of hours in training. There's probably uh, about six teams that has the Jaws of Life in BC, just like we do because of they're in a rural area. We actually started out as a road rescue uh, team in 1963, I believe. We had a gentleman on the Highway 3 that went uh, missing, and we actually went in there and got him. So our team basically started out as a road rescue, and then we were involved into the, the search and rescue end of it. For us, for motor vehicle accidents, it's, I guess we're kind of special, because not everybody can do that. I mean, they can watch it on TV, but in real life, it's a total different thing. It's all volunteer. We go out there. You know, you might work all day, go out on a call and be out half the night or all night, come home, get an hour or two hours sleep and go to work. I've been doing this for 30 years, the reason I volunteer, I like to help people in need. It's a really good thing at the end of the call when uh, you send them off to the hospital with minor injuries and there's a good ending to the story. We get satisfaction that we did the best we could as a, bu as a bunch of volunteers and we helped people that were in need.